Hey guys, Zanara here, and today we're going to be talking about uh, what you possibly might need in the future if you're a Bermuda player to uh, get prepared for the next set, which is with Coral and Pacifica. So we are going to head over to the crafting so I can show you guys what you possibly might need and to prepare for. So let's go to all. Okay, so uh, I'll start with the gray one. So you really want to have your perfect guards, uh, which you should already have because uh, by you doing ranked and with the Sentinel medals, even possibly pulling uh, Bermuda stuff, you should already have four Sentinels. Uh, then uh, another great one you should have is the uh you want the pearl sister uh you want pearl sister's perla it with her uh the grade two counterpart which basically uh the grade two is when is unit attack hits a vanguard soul boss one return all your other regards to your hand then uh with her when you when she's placed you choose the grade two you give the grade two the ability that when it hits you start just one to draw a card. So you want both of them because uh, they're your draw engine. Now for Coral, uh, she has the draw engine already. It's just a bit, this is a turn slower. It doesn't require you to have two pieces, but you still would like to have that soul charge engine in the drawn engine si since you'll be able to uh, still maintain your hand. And when your grade twos gets wiped out, you can at least call cards for your hand to attack. So you want you want the sisters, which um, Perla is a triple R, so she might be a little bit more difficult to pull. But this is why you uh, do what you can. You can uh, dump money into the orbs. I mean, into the materials, so you can start crafting them. Uh, it's about to end in a couple of days soon because this is, you see with the date, it's the uh, 29th. So uh, what I would do is that I would just save my mats, save my gems. If you're only going to play Bermuda, just save them. If not, do the character fights with Emmy so you can get your uh, double R's of Perla and your triple R's with uh, her sister, her, uh, Perla. My bad. The great one's Perlay. Now, uh, Rio, she might see play in the future, but I think she won't be seeing a play since both decks don't really need um, the extra draw power. Since Coral herself is a draw drawing engine, you won't really need it. For Pacifica, she might play it, but you already use CB for her extra attack. Plus, you could draw cards from uh, the Pearl Sisters. So I think uh, Rio won't be played because she's an extra CB that Pacifica doesn't want to use to save for her uh, limit break. And Quora uh, already has the soul in the draw engine. So uh, it, it won't be too bad if you do pull her right now or to save it up for the future. But you really want... Um, Perla and Perle. So um, on to the grade threes. So since Pacifica and um, Coral are being in the next set for JP, that's coming up soon uh, at the time of recording, which is uh, the 5th. I'm at the 29th, but for JP, it's probably the 30th. So anyway, um, a triple rare grade three I think you should get or at least try to prepare for his reindeer. Now, in both decks, you're going to be playing uh, four of each. So four of each Pacifica and um, four of each Coral. Reindeer could be a backup ride, but still have some value. So if you check a trigger, you can get an extra attack, which gives Coral that advantage that she can get an extra attack. Even if you miss the ride chain. But since the deck can draw... Uh, consistently 
in with the support cards that you might we might get. Reindeer isn't a bad option as a backup ride. And if you don't get a lot of her now, uh, for the global version, uh, hopefully they'll make her as a ranked reward with an alternate art. So you can just, uh, once you get to Legend, uh, get three ranks to get to rank 50. If you don't have any of her, get your four play sets. Um, she's also another card uh probably not any sometime in the future but she's a decent card for a backup even in like all the decks right here in the global version so of course for the pacific deck you want pacifica uh you want that cross ride you want to filter your deck you want that free soul charge you won't be using a mega blast much so if you got your pacificas that'll be good so um Rivy Air, um, she won't see much play, uh, for a while until Legion comes out. Uh, Rivy Air's bo like bonus is that you can power up your rear guards first and attack and have stance to swing for big numbers, but she gets crept out very easily in decks such as as like Pale Moon that can keep calling intercepts and um. Uh, decks that have like early aggression, so like spike bears are uh, are now currently out in JP. Um, but the fact that you needed to persona blast, you still have to run the Pearl Sisters, and I believe some of the support won't really uh, help Riviere in getting to our persona blast position. Not only have to hit, so um, yeah, I don't think Riviere will really be good later in the future, but. Uh, she will be a rank reward soon. I'm not sure for global, but I'm pretty sure both Reindeer and uh, Riviere has been a uh, global reward. I mean, has been a reward for ranked into JP. Uh, I'm not sure if global's getting it, if they're going to do all the rank season, so they might just skip it. So, some other cards that might uh, be played. Uh, of course, you want your Aqua. It's 10k Vanilla. And you want Sentna, your AK Vanilla. Now, uh, for Feluca, since she soul charges, she could see play in uh, Coral. If you, like, whiff the ride chain and you just randomly soul charge uh, one of your pieces you need, you're cool. But not really sure how many copies you will play over. Um, another option that um, Coral could play in, I guess, Pacifica um, is uh, Bermuda Triangle Cadet Caravel. Uh, all plays you can sell by to draw a card, which is just more drawing. The fact it's a 5k kind of hurts, but uh, if you need extra draw power for some reason, I feel like you won't really need it. In Coral, since her draw engine is just herself and getting a ride chain. But once you get your cards in the soul, they're basically sort of useless other than a grade three for Shangri-La Coral. So you could call call her and draw a card with the extra soul you have. And also, uh, you could bounce her back with Coral, use her again, so you can draw more cards if you need to. Uh, uh, of some interesting cards that might come in handy for Pacifica. This might not see play, but the Blazer Idols. Uh, with P Eternal Pacifica's Lure Break 4, you can call a card from the deck. And um, if you need to boost extra power, uh, the Bla Blazer Idols and uh, this grade 2 right here, a uh, White Snow of the Corals, Carole, they both have the same abilities when they're placed. Choose where your other units give it 2k. You give your uh, Senna a 10k boost. They hit 18. Or you give other lane a boost. So yeah. Um, now a card that could also see play too. Is uh, Navy Dolphin Ember. This is basically a Conroe clone. So when it hits. Not Conroe. A uh, Ammo clone. So when it hits. You can discard a card or draw a card. 
this might see play for Pacifica if uh, you want to search out your um, your Living Break, the Living Break version, Eternal Idol, because you want to get to it as fast as possible. And you want to have it in your hand after you ride Pacifica, since the deck can draw, but you could also soul charge it. So you want to try to uh, get it consistently to get off that skill, so you can get the extra attack. Uh, and uh, probably the last grade two is a uh, flute. If you have four or more rear guards, this unit gets three thousand power. She's level K attacker, uh, but she's AK based, so it's easy to swing at. Uh, I think she'll be played in both decks since Bermuda lacks numbers. Having a level K attacker is pretty good. Um, especially with the fact that both decks can draw quite a lot and refill the field. Coral will have an easier time being able to refill her board because she draws a lot. And the fact that uh, her limit break is basically a drawing engine. Play the Pearl Sisters, you draw, you could just get this condition off super easily pacifica can too if you um use a limit break if you don't return all of your cards so maybe like you return a booster in the back row you call it a levy attacker with uh some other cards that you might play you'll be able to hit those numbers you need now uh the only card i might be able to say for the grade threes that might be played is cream just because she's a 30k attacker and she gets over numbers now for coral this might help since uh they might lack the numbers not really sure depending on the commons and rares that they get but for pacifica if you're like at the mercy of going to kill someone like that turn you can call this out um and uh swing for 21k if you have setting in the back row any triggers will be higher it's taking a trigger out of your deck but if you know uh if you have that feeling that they're just going to check the trigger you can call it out but you do not want this to be the heal i remember i did that with the mega blast and i felt awful um flores i mean this card could see play uh depending on um it could see play a coral just because you can uh call this down um call a pg behind it hit out of rear guard and return to hand since there's no mid battle bounce and coral puts a lot of cards in the soul so uh floors would be able to utilize um will be able to utilize coral soul gaining to her advantage now uh rainbow light caroline or karen uh, she's the same as Rio, but she's a great three, so she's a little bit worse. Well, she's not as worse because you don't lose the intercept. Um, but she has the same problem as Rio as in that um, Coral already has enough draw. The Soul Charge is probably nice, um, but Pacifica doesn't want to run it because you need your CB for the limit break. To a boss two and to call a card. Um... It's good for the draw, but that's CB3 to draw a card into Soul Charge. Uh, it's a plus two, but you really don't want to run this card. So, I believe that was... I believe that was it. Oh, so for the starters, Shizuku won't be seen play because Koro has a ride chain. And uh, Pacifica, you're using... Too much CB already in the deck with uh, using Pacifica's Limit Break, which is Counter Boss 2. That's kind of hefty. It says the clan does have Counter Charge. You don't want to really be using this. Um, and besides, it's thinning out triggers. Uh, uh, Riviere, we won't be playing because it doesn't affect either deck. Window will still see play in uh, Pacifica because. You could still do uh, the combo with the sisters, as in you call it a grade two, use window, put it into the soul, bounce the grade one back, call it, and you're drawing two, so, uh, soul charging two, which means you could soul charge top aisle Pacifica if you have the, uh, the, 
the cross ride. A way you rider, bam, already 13k. And also, um, with other cars that we might get in the future, which I'm not sure, it just enables them to do what they need to do. So, uh, as you currently see, I haven't been really uh, farming Bermuda. I've been uh, using my gems to save enough for Kagro. But basically, um, when we get to the ranked rewards, uh, which I think it's in Lemon Break, we start getting these. I think the next one for uh, MLB is Perfect Razor. And then after that, I think... I'm not really too sure what's the next one, but um, we're at the mercy of, is it going to be Riviera or Reindeer? If it's Reindeer, I 100% recommend you getting Reindeer because of the simple fact that, um, well, at the moment, um, we don't know what the other grade 3s are, and um, looking through the card pool of what the grade 3s were in uh, the Prism set, um, they don't look good. Uh, they don't look good at all. You rather get an extra attack than be on the limit break card that hits numbers. Because reindeers, the reason why reindeer is good is because you can get an extra attack for just a trigger. If you play optimally enough, like playing uh, flute to hit levy to rear guards, which ride chains aren't really well under the special duke, and I think. Well, Sukuyomi's still in there, but um, only this special duke. You won't be having uh, 12k rear guards anymore. So you can still swing out there, uh, grade twos, with your uh, aquas and your flutes. So you can return it to hand, uh, give the power to like your booster, you call it, get extra attacks, and she can still swing out a rear guard. Um, depending on what deck you're playing, either Coral or... Uh, Pacifica. So yeah, you definitely, definitely want reindeer just in case uh the grade threes uh that I revealed to J JP aren't aren't as good as you like to hope. So yeah, I guess that'll be it for this video. Um I wish I had more to say on the matter of like what what to like really prepare for. Until it hits June 1st, if some things change, I'll probably do, like, a set review for Bermuda about, like, what cards are actually in there and how we can use them. But for right now, uh, I just want people to sort of be prepared for what happens in the future and how uh, Bermuda could be playing optimally enough. Because after, like, reading the effects of Coral Pacifica... I'm not too well versed on the limit break meta. There are some there are gonna be a lot of decks that are better than it, but they have some some interesting plays. Um especially being able to be the only clan that could call their PGs and safely return it back to hand, especially in the early game. A lot of clans only have <coughs> excuse me, only nine uh great ones. Bermuda could play all 13 because they could bounce it back. In both decks, Coral and Pacifica, it just got a little bit more advantage than those clans because they can call it and return it back while your opponent's sniping it. Unless uh, you're playing Kagura to have Tejas, uh, and you don't have a great two in the front row. So, um, But yeah, uh, that's all for today with this video. I'll see you guys next time.